What is Crackalack and everyone? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another reaction. And this time it's the Final Fantasy VII Remake for PS5. Uh, eventually, I guess, in the back of my head, I thought this was going to happen. Most of the last-gen games are getting those uh, next-gen upgrades. So I'm pretty excited about this one just to see what they have added and what difference is there from the last gen to this gen because Final Fantasy 7 Remake even on the last gen looked absolutely stunning like the visual appeal of that game was just beauty beauty all around it was beautiful so how much more can they actually add for the PS5 version so let's check this out so I'm actually gonna do the announcement trailer and the feature video both of those uh videos both in this uh reactions so yeah let's start <laughs> Oh, the faces, the eyes. Yes. You can see that there. The lighting and all. They're even more popping, and the well, guys, realism is actually coming out even more. Well, guys, made it to Midgar. Oh, <laughs> Yuffie there! Okay. My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Special Forces <laughs> Operative for the new Oh, there you go, man. Everybody was but asking Utai for her. Not to be trifled with. Members of Avalanche, we got this. I'm back. Ah, there you are. Someone's been expecting you. What took you? Sorry about that. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Sonon Kasakabe. Where's Clown? We lost him. You what? He will be okay, though, right? Well, of course he will. They're the ones who blew up the reactors. Cool. Should we say hi? Oh, is it like uh, an episode? After what they've done, you've got to assume Shinra's on their tail. Look, a Moogle! Hmm? Huh? <laughs> Stop! Huh. We gotta help. We're back in that area. She definitely has that really, really close range style to her combat, so it'll be interesting. Play as her. Man, they got her feel right. It looked right. The remakes look nice for her. what's coming to Yeah. They do, but I'm not your sister. There you are. Who are these jerks? No clue. It just appeared. Personality is there. Intergrade. Now, let the hunt begin. All right. Without further ado, let's just kick it in to the features video. Get down here, Bert. All right, let's see. Look how good the PlayStation 4 version was. Okay, now look. Right. Honestly, the, the detail is so hard to see. I'm not saying there's no change, don't get me wrong. Obviously, the ray tracing is kicking in, but... You 
got like they did a really fantastic job with the last gen. There's obviously an upgrade, more environmental, like it feels the fog, the lighting is all popping more, you know? And definitely the ray tracing like definitely adds to the element. Look, oh my goodness, look at that shine. Look at the reflection. Wow. The ray tracing is something, eh? Quality of life. Okay. Loading time. Okay. That's good, because sometimes the loading times were like, damn, you die and you're like, uh, loading time. People like photo mode, I'm not into photo mode, but, oh lord. That, uh, people, uh, oh, I already, I already can see what they're going to do with photo mode. <laughs> Wait, what? Fire effects you really that? popping. <laughs> That's how ninjas do it. Yep. Thank God. Thank God. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. June 10. Alright, I'll be absolutely honest. Did they do an upgrade? Yes. Is it really, really hard to tell sometimes? Yes. And that does not mean that, you know, if you have the game, obviously upgrade it. If you don't have it, obviously buy it on the new gen if you do have the new gen console. Uh, but it's just that it just shows to you like the visual appeal of that game, the graphics and all, and the environments and all were done so well in the last gen. I mean, at least to my eyes, there is an upgrade, but it's not like, whoa, you know? But again, it just shows how good it already looks. I think the visual upgrade was more in the lighting and all and you know really bringing out the environment so you had that fog the reflections and all the lighting uh, you know the ray tracing element of it is really 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 kicking it in and which makes sense like it 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 this game can use that it can use that and it's using it which adds uh to its like feel of it especially like at the end, I can't imagine, like, with all the ray tracing, especially when you, spoiler alert, if you haven't played the game, when you fight Sephiroth and all, uh, my, my mind will blown because there were some, like, really visual effects going on in that fight, so that fight will really, literally break my brain with the upgrade. So, yeah, just for that, I might just have to play it again, you know, just have to play it again, might, might as well go in there right now and start practicing at some point and uh, get back into it because uh, I did not have a really smooth run when I did the PS4 uh, stream of it and I really had a hard time in some moments but again so visually obviously it was looking excellent and it's looking even more like excellent than it used to look like uh, and I'm all in for it and you know the big 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 plus is they're definitely adding youth fees now obviously it'll probably be as a dlc not as you know it's not a remake part two uh it's just a dlc you'll have to pay for it but the good thing is they're sticking to that upgrade from ps4 to ps5 for free so good good on that because as we've seen some companies you would have need to pay so that's good there um and yeah i'm excited i'm excited for the upgrade especially because i've already played the game so i'm more into the the yuffie 
DLC and see how she becomes part of the team in this uh, matter because as they said that she's more integral to the story this time around whereas from Final Fantasy 7 the classic from what I remember is that when you go into the open world you had to kind of sidetrack to find her character uh, it was like or she would just appear like later but if you wanted her early like her story like you could have just started earlier right when you get into the open world from what i remember correct me if i'm wrong so yeah i'm all in for this it's looked good and it's looking even better what is your opinion on it both on the graphical upgrade and the yuffie uh dlc and did i miss something because there was a few characters here and there you know uh that i i did not did not really know who they were and obviously it's been a long time since i've played the classic so leave a comment below let me know and other than that i want to say thank you for watching thanks for all the support and if you like this reaction please there are others on the channel go have a watch and yeah other than that take it easy take care and i will catch you all later under then ta ta ak out